Uh, welcome to Canvas. Uh, today I have Pauline Latham, who has a new exhibition that's up until the end of April. And so uh, I'd like to introduce you to Pauline. Say hello, Pauline. Hello, everybody. Um, and yeah, Pauline would uh, is come in today to talk about her work. So if you'd like us to tell us about your paintings, Pauline, and um, how you've started on this series. Um, well, I live quite near Poppet Beach. In fact, I live very near. Uh, so that's where I go, especially when the weather is wild and windy. And I go down and um, I take notes, occasionally use a camera, um, and uh, just come back full of the wind and the sun and the rain and splash paint around on canvases, basically. How long have you been painting for, Pauline? Oh, my goodness. Um, that's really hard to say. Um, I was quite arty at school, um, but then uh, later when I got married, of course, I had four children and, so, um, and the business to run. So for many years, I didn't do any painting. Um, but then um, in my 50s, I went to art college, and that sent, set me off again. So did you go to art college in Wales, or were you living down here at that point? Oh, yes, I've been here 50 years. So, yes, um, I went to Carmarthen Art College, which was a complete revelation, wonderful lecturers, and, yes, I just had a ball. So you've obviously you've got a beautiful touch and a great sense of kind of light and colour, and you really feel the wind and the, and the rain and in your work. Um, do you find that um, that comes easy or do you have to really work over pieces when you're Sorry, doing them? These are really easy um, because they, they come from the energy of the sea and the wind and the light. And I come back full of that energy. And so they are actually quite quick, most of them. Um, it's the still lives that take me forever. But these are really, really, you know, they're full of energy. And therefore, yes, I don't labor over them. I don't fiddle them. No. So they mainly, are they memory paintings or do you do sketches when you're actually on the beach? Yes, I do both. Um, I do sketches. Occasionally, if I have a headline, a uh, head, headland that really has to be accurate, then I do take photographs to make sure that that is correct. But it is very much the energy which I experience down on the beach, um, come back sopping wet sometimes. <laughs> and, uh, and yes, and, and as I say, then I quickly put paint down on canvas. So if we move along to the end of the, of the series, you've got some here where you've actually used um, mixed media. Can you tell us a bit about the kind of materials and everything that you use? Mm. Yes, well, I suppose most of my paintings are to a certain extent mixed media. According to um, what seems appropriate, you know, I'll use sand, I'll use, um, um, what is it, gesso, um, sometimes even, even plaster, just to give a really rich texture. Um, and, but these two here, in fact, let me see which one it is. That one is the collage, that one over there, that one over there. Is, is very much collage. So um, I wanted the texture of the beach, but also I didn't want to lose the reflection of the sand, of the clouds on the wet sand, because I, I, I'm fascinated by that as well. But that has to be a much calmer, quieter day. And I have done several other paintings and of you, reflections. You, you. You work in a number of different medias as well. You, you like to make fantastic jewellery. I can see you're wearing some of your jewellery now. And, and just all sorts, like your still lives as well, are absolutely beautiful. Um, so um, is there a, uh, do they feed into each other, the work you do, or do you keep them quite separate? Well, people say that especially the jewellery and my um, these sort of paintings very much feed into one another. Um, I think the still lives, for me, come from a completely different part of me. It's a much stiller, more meditative, quieter part of me, which happened over lockdown particularly. So that's what I focused on a lot, because that was what was happening to me at the time. Yeah. They are absolutely beautiful, the, the watercolours, and hopefully we'll be having some of those in soon as well. Um, it's not, not, sorry, still lives, but they're, they're, again, they're mixed media, but it's a, a different touch you have altogether, isn't yeah. they? 
Yes, but yes. Well, it, it, yes, I'm very aware of that, actually, because um, it's very... Yes, it is coming from a totally different part of my being, actually. Yeah. So that's why they are so different. And they take weeks, whereas these I can, you know, paint in a day or day and a half or something. They're very quick yeah. because a completely different energy yeah. is coming into them, you see. Excellent. Well, Pauline's show's on until the end of April, so please try and pop along to see it. And we also always have some of Pauline's work in the gallery to sell. Okay, thanks a lot, Pauline. Thank you.